that was a murder. You know what I'm saying? That was a spiritual murder, whether people know it or not. Mary J. Blige, who was a victim of Sean Combs, are sitting there talking about the death of Aaliyah amongst each other. And yet, they had to sit there and have that conversation like they didn't know who did it. Sean Carter is responsible for enacting Hype Williams to put Aaliyah on a faulty plane to move her out the way as punishment for rejecting him. And so he could level up Beyonce, who was struggling. So it looks like we finally have confirmation that Diddy and Jay-Z might have really planned Leah's death all along. Because Mary J. Bly just shocked the hell out of all of us after an interview of her confessing to Aaliyah's death being a planned spiritual murder started going. Viral at the time she first admitted this. Jay and Diddy worked overtime to get it taken down from the internet, and they pretty much threatened her into silence. But after Diddy's arrest, this interview came back up again, and things are not looking too good for them. There were already questions about Aaliyah's death, especially since they had to dar her up in order to put her on the plane anyway. But this revelation from Mary really confirmed everything. The crazy thing is that Mary was also a victim of DDoI, and she allegedly even had to terminate the pregnancy she had by him. So if anybody knows about the, the truth about Aaliyah's death, it's definitely her now when it comes to Mary and Puffy's relationship. Mary was part of Diddy's infamous mentorship program, the Puffy Flavor Camp, and there were some rumors going around at the time that mentorship was not the only thing they had going on, because allegedly Didi was blowing her back out on the low, and everybody knew about it as if that wasn't bad enough. He also allegedly got her pregnant and then forced her to get rid of the pregnancy, because he knew how messy things would have gotten when people found out he was cheating on Kim with Mary. One of the first people to spill the tea about this was Jaguar Wright. And according to her, not only did Diddy impregnate Mary, but he was also out here pimping her out during them freak-off parties, making her do all sorts of wild things in exchange for him to keep supporting her Jaguar claims Mary was very much aware of the things that Diddy was doing to these girls, and that she was actually one of the people that Diddy used to force Cassie to freak off with against her will Jaguar even, went as far as describing Mary as the original young Miami. Jay Blige got pimped too. She been around the long. Up, she been around the long. She the she the bottom. She the original young Miami. That's why he always got a group. Yeah, the group had the had a inspiration. And how she got to be the two Jimmy just the three of them. Diddy and Mary and Cass. And, and, Mary and, 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 and Mary grabbing Cassie by the wrist. As a grown woman, ain't no child. Wait. You dragging her around. Mary. Mary Carisha. standing over Carisha like, all right, now get ready for this two seat. Look at the pictures. Her and Diddy out. And Mary always grabbing on Cassie arm. Like Cassie, like she knew Cassie was fitting to run. Oh, Maybe she wait. was. Maybe Mary J. Blige is just a co-conspirator. No. She and knows it just about as well as anybody. Who was the father of that baby that Mary aborted? Oh, you talking about Diddy, baby? I was just going to say it. Go on, tell it, girl, because they wrote it, told me too. She said it. That's what they said. She the original Diddy do wop wop. Boop wop 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 do wop wop. Did he make her get that? I'm sure he did. You know, he tried to kick it out. He got cheaper as he got rich. He tried to kick one out the little Asian girl, the Jenny O girl, the Gina. He said, F the money, I'm just going to kick this. And we know he can kick. But Mary's affiliations didn't just end with her allegedly helping Diddy pimp these girls out. She also witnessed Diddy and Jay-Z plan the death of Aaliyah. And she confidently sat in front of a camera and admitted it herself now when it comes to Diddy. It's unclear what exactly. His motive was for wanting Aaliyah dead since she and him ain't have no kind of relationship. But Jay-Z on the other hand had multiple reasons for wanting her gone. And he recruited Diddy to help carry out that plan. It all went down in 2001. 
when Aaliyah was in the Bahamas shooting a music video. But the thing is she had no business being in the Bahamas in the first place they had, originally planned to film the music video in Florida. But just a day before it was supposed to be filmed, the music video director Hype Williams decided to change the location and fly everybody out to the Bahamas to film. They successfully filmed the video, but once it was time for them to fly back to the U.S., that's when shady stuff started happening. Aliyah reportedly hit up her friend Lenny Kravitz to send his jet to pick her up. But Hype was against that idea and insisted that he already already booked a flight for them to go back. She did not feel comfortable getting onto the plane that Hype brought but they drooged her up and put her on that plane while she was unconscious. Not too long after they got inside the plane crash, and Aaliyah tragically died a death that could have easily been avoided if they just listened to her and not put her on that plane. The shady thing is that Hype Williams himself conveniently didn't board that plane. And when people found out about this, they could not help but wonder why he didn't join her almost as if he knew something was going to happen on that flight back home. What's even worse is that it was later revealed that the pilot was intoxicated and that he was not certified to fly the Cessna 402B and had been hired by a charter company a few days before the crash. The pilot had also been sentenced to probation for possession two weeks prior. It was also reported that the days leading up to the flight were filled with confusion and mistakes, including overweight cargo for her music video being delivered to the wrong Bohemian island and multiple changes of which charter company would bring Aaliyah and her crew back to the U.S. When all this was revealed, there were only two names on people's mind as the potential K, and that was Diddy and Jay-Z, but especially Jay, you see. Prior to Aaliyah's death, Jay wanted to get with her, but at the time she was in a relationship with Dame Dash, so she refused. And even outside of that relationship with Dame, she just ain't have no interest at all in dating Jay and he did not take that. Well, his ego was her real bad by this, and he got to acting crazy now, after Aaliyah died. Dave stopped being friends with Jay-Z, because Jay had the G to do a joint album with R. Kelly, even after it was revealed that R. Kelly had fake documents to get married to Aaliyah when she was just 15. You know, the Fiesta remix and Not Guilty, you know, and doing that and hearing how those uh, two singles came out we were always tossed the idea back and forth but it was just an idea like we didn't do a whole album together and we creative people so creative people cre create Dame also revealed that jay used to invite Aaliyah over to his parties to try to seduce her but she always felt unsafe and extremely uncomfortable around jay jay was trying to get at her as well and i didn't know he was sending flowers and he was courting her because the rumor originally was that you were connected to Jay, exactly Jay and I were hanging out a lot. He's my homie, we have a lot of fun together. But we never dated now like I said before, after Aaliyah died in a plane crash it was rumored that her death was sacrificial and orchestrated by the higher Yupas including J.R. Kelly and of course Diddy. At the time it sounded a bit wild, but Mary J., Blig was not planning on letting Diddy and Jay get away with it, so she had done an interview a few days after Alia's death and confirmed that it was indeed a plan. But according to Mary, this wasn't just a regularly planned murder, it was a spiritual one that was orchestrated to end Alia's life way sooner and used her soul to boost the careers of some very powerful people.